Hello everyone, my name is Matthew Frick, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to complete your annual CARSI project review. When allocated resources on your projects expire, the first thing you want to do is log into Coldfront to request renewal of those resources. Resources can include things like access to the clusters, software licenses, storage access, etc. Resources can only be renewed, however, after you have reviewed your CARSI projects. And I'll show you how to do that. The first thing you're going to do, um, once you discover that you need to renew one of your resource allocations, is log into the CARSI system. And immediately you can see that my access to the Hopper cluster for Project Neon Skies is going to expire soon. This is a project I created for illustration for this tutorial. I can also see that my Neon Skies project is due for review. So I'll click on the link to my project. And let's say I just try to renew my allocation. I click on the expires button and it says you cannot renew your allocation because you have to review your project first. Reviewing a project only takes a few minutes. We're just going to go through and update CARSI on the prog progress of our project, uh, add any publications that were produced this year, add any grants that have been funded this year, and review the description and field of science for our project to make sure they are still accurate. And then we'll review our user list to make sure that there aren't any users who are no longer associated with the project, but who still have access. All right, so let's get that process going. We're going to click on the review project link here. And here is a list of the tasks I just went over. One final task that we'll add is to just do a quick write-up. Um, we're going to add it as a research output field. And it just gives us an idea um, at a high level what's happening with your project. If you haven't made um, progress on your project, that's fine. All you need to do is document that you still intend to use CARSI for your um, research by filling out this text box here. We use this information um, to update the Office for the Vice President for Research, where we get our funding. And this shows the, um, the university, what contribution CARSI makes, and also allows us to tailor our work to better meet the needs of the projects that are active. All right, so let's start off by verifying the project description is accurate. So I'll read through the abstract that we created when we first made this project and make sure it doesn't need to be updated. Then we'll look at the list of users who have access to the resources through my project. And let's say that Ryan here happily is graduating. So let's go ahead and remove him from the project since he's leaving the university. And we'll go back to the review project list. And we can add publications. All right, let's go ahead and add a publication. Um, I'll add a real publication here. And it's very convenient because I can just add the DOI record for a publication into this text field, search for that publication. It finds it here. I, I click this checkbox, and I can add that publication and associate it with this project. If you have prior publications, that you haven't added to your project yet, it's fine to add them now. Next, we'll add a grant that um, was used to fund this project. Let's go ahead and give it the same title uh, as the project itself, the CARSI project. And we'll add a fake NSF grant number just for illustration for this tutorial. We'll say I'm the PI. The funding agency in this case is going to be NSF. We'll add a start date of today and an end date of a year from now. 
I'm just going to fill in some numbers here, just again for illustration. We'll say that Carsey got 25K of that out of a total of one and a half million. And we'll mark the status as active. If you have uh, funding sources for Car C work that has not yet been activated, you can select pending. Or if it's, the period is over, you can archive the, arc, the grant. All right. And let's go back to um, the review project after we check the allocations. And the grant shows up here and the publication. We've already verified user accounts, but we do want to add that last research output where we can just say, let's, for example, say in 2024, uh, we added some resources. I'm actually going to go back and you can see one I already made here. So I just said this year we used Carsey Resources to analyze data. We had one graduate student finish. And we had a publication on a grant. All right. So at this point, we can go back to the review project list. We've done everything on our checklist here, plus adding the summary. And now I can click this checkbox saying that I have updated the data and I'm ready to use this project for another year. Project reviewed successfully. Now I can go to my resource source that's, added, that's um, expiring, and I'll click on this expiration link. And this time, I can just submit the request to renew the resource allocation. That will trigger an email to me, and I will go and review your um, resource allocation request and review um, the data you uploaded, your publications, grants, and that summary information uh, to make sure that everything um, was up to date and that your project and allocations can be renewed. All right, hopefully that's fairly straightforward. It greatly aids CARSI um, in understanding which projects are active, what kind of work is being done, and helps us help you with your research. Thanks a lot, bye-bye.